Yo, yo, I'm back on the Dark John R. Jackson channel, and man, I was just vibing out to the music to this game, and it go it goes hard in the paint. It goes hard in the paint. But let's get back to what I was doing. All right. Last time I won this game, this dude asked me for a favor, right when I was about to chest chastise my child, and uh, oh, oh, did the game fuck you a little bit? Can we get this over with quickly? Yeah, I'm gonna need you shut the fuck up, bro. You shouldn't hang around here too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I gotta go do some shit. Well, what I gotta do? I already made my decision. Like, okay. Like, I still, like, make a decision. I made a decision. I don't get the feeling our interrogations are getting anywhere. I think we should lead them a little before we question them. We're too easy on them. I'm just gonna walk around your crib. Change password. 4965. Cool. Looks like everything is in order. We're going to wipe this server soon. Right. They're going to wipe the server. I'm also to do something about that. Damn it, I need to watch my own video to remember what the hell happened when I played this last night. Dijan wanted to warn us about the Hartford Chantry's favorite rituals. He doesn't trust Dinev Osborne. These servers hold all of our secrets. I understand why they're so well protected. Yeah, I think the game fucked me for being a bad, uh, Fincher. I think I got less to start with as far as my willpower goes. That sucks. That just makes the game even harder. So where am I supposed to be going? This is a joy. It's a pleasure to have you back here. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you. So, I don't think I'm supposed to be down here, but I'm down here anyway. I don't give a fuck. OG Caleb, I do what I want. You see how they're all like Master Bazuri? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy to see you, man. Yeah, what you doing? There's not much more you'll be able to get out of this retainer besides blood. But go ahead. You know what? I do like blood. So, let's talk to him. James, isn't it? Jason Moore's bodyguard. Yes, Mr. Bazori. I've got some questions for you. I've already answered so many questions. You weren't with Moore yesterday. You went against standing orders. No, he sent me to his office. Why? I was supposed to pick up some files. He was being really weird, like he was stalling for time. You were supposed to bring him here, weren't you? Yeah, but he said he had to get some documents from his place. And then he sent me to his office. At the time, I didn't think too much of it. But looking back on it, he was really doing everything he could not to leave with us. You should have been more attentive. Right. What happened once you got to his office? I had a hard time finding what he wanted. He wasn't very clear about where I'd be able to find some specific invoices. You lost precious time. You weren't his hand servant. When I came back, the police had the whole place roped off, so I came straight here. And since then, I've done nothing but answer questions and wait. How naive. Hmm. Moore was at the party. So were you. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like to talk about it. Uh, am I calling them down? Hmm. Ties go to me, right? Okay. I'm here to help you. And to help you, I need to know what happened. I need you. Okay. Okay. When we got there, Lies. I was stressed out. Why? He was waiting for Mr. Underwood. He kept asking for him. 
Hmm. He had invited him to the party, I guess. Moore was in a hurry to see him. Hmm. What about the attack? It was fast and bloody. I'd never seen anything like it. Heavy caliber, surgical precision. It's a miracle we made it out of there. I don't believe in miracles. Exactly. It was like they knew exactly where to shoot. Like they had specified targets. Interesting. Nobody to them. At best, collateral damage. How lucky. I don't know how anyone could have made it out of there. Those guys weren't amateurs. Exactly. We lost a number of people. We're still searching. Good luck. Do you know what's going to happen to you now, man? Do you know what's going to happen next? I have no idea. Nobody's telling me anything. Do you know? The prince will determine your fate when she has time. I'm not a high priority, am I? Nope. I wouldn't be in a hurry if I were you. Right. I could still be useful to the Camarilla. Mm-hmm. Please. I'm not the one who needs to hear it. Right. You're dead, dude. I must leave you. I get the feeling I'll be staying here a long time. Yup. But thank you for being so forthcoming. I'm no use to anyone here. Shut the fuck up. Do a little venture jog. Nobody sees me. Gotta maintain. Got the eye on the motherfucking man. What's in here? I forget. Oh, server room. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that right now. And walking. Again, where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Make a decision. I've already made the decision, damn it! I'm gonna help this dude out. But I don't remember what the hell he wanted me to do. Hmm, let's just go to the ground floor. Because I can't fucking remember. Be an update. Nope. Shit. I had to do something for the servers. What was it? What was it? Okay, so I had to watch a little bit of my own video, but now I know what I gotta do. I gotta go to Jara's office. And not to my child's office, which is why it still says you can choose. So I'm going to the Primogen Council floor, and I can, hmm, pump this bitch for information first. Caleb, our secret agent is back already. Bitch, you talking shit. I, I can tell. The soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. He's not used to that. It'll be good for him. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? Bitch, you asking too many questions. It's none of your business, is what I should say, but let's be polite. I don't see why I would have any regrets. That's no surprise. Personally, I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. Mm. The problem is that you have to watch them all the time. Otherwise, they end up making a mess of things. But trying to influence them is pointless. You must be subtle about it. That's all. I give Whatever. the man just enough freedom so that she doesn't completely hate me. Mm. But I know exactly how to make her do whatever I want. Uh -huh. Do you really think you'll have time to embrace Fang? What do you mean? Well, with all the elders gone. 
Who knows who will be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Right. Suit yourself. No. Excuse me. I have to go. Of course. Bitch, I will push you over the edge. You ever talk to me like that again about my personal affairs? You know the fuck I am? Gala represents. Got me running out here. What the fuck am I doing? I don't run. Definitely not going that way. Draw us this way. Ask her about something. Let's catch up to her. Eh, I'm not running out to you, bitch, but uh. Bitch, where you going? Oh, I hope there won't be another attack. <sighs> Whatever, bitch. following you for no reason. Alright. Time to dominate the school. Get the fuck out of my way. Right, what's this? Interesting. Camarilla loves having places to watch everybody. Alright, move. Sorry, Mr. Bazori. Miss Drory's quarters are off limits. What's going on here? Mr. Leto's orders. We've got to clean up. Got to damn it. He's the one who sent me here, the son of a bitch. Yo, Dijon, help me get in there. Let's get straight to the point. Now she's sending you. Run into some trouble with the prince? That's a question to ask Hazel. She's the one who doesn't know what she wants. Hmm. You seem unusually tense. Are you sure she's the problem? Obviously, the whole situation is a nightmare, but Hazel's not helping. She's obviously overwhelmed, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. I don't know how you still put up with her. You owe your place in the Primogen to her, right? What, you think I don't know that? I've always done my best to keep her from screwing things up. But when she reached out to Hartford? Ah, and there's the rub. Hartford is a key part of her plan. We can't count on Hartford. There are other Chantries, other kindred who could help us. After what happened last night, I'm not sure you realize just how deep the shit we are in goes. And I suppose you have the solution? Maybe. Not that I'm happy about it. There's interesting stuff going on in other places. Boston's not the center of the universe. We don't know who can be trusted. This is no time to leave. If the prince has kept you in the dark, she must have had a good reason for it. Just look at what happened. Open your eyes, Galen! The Boston Camarilla is crumbling before our eyes! Take that base out your voice. What are the odds we survive? Oh, you chicken shit bastard. Ooh, should I fucking talk to him like he's a bitch? 
because he acting like a bitch. And with bitch energy, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk to him like he's a bitch. If you leave now, you're no better than our enemies. You're one to talk. Oh? You know what it's like to feel called to be elsewhere. That has nothing to do with this. Salem isn't elsewhere. You won't be any safer there. It's just a starting point. We thaumaturgs will find a way to deal with it. I see that you've planned for everything. I've already lost too much time. Mm. You shouldn't waste your time either. If you leave, Hazel will catch up with you. What do you mean? You know, she doesn't like people who have been disloyal, especially now. Hazel doesn't need new enemies. She should be wary. Mm. Be careful. Goodbye, Galen. Dude. You really gonna fucking try to jet out when it's a cold red? That looks shady as fuck. Bro, you gonna die just on, on principle? And we got the Hartford fucking thermoturgs in the, in the bank? Man, you done. You done, son. What were you thinking? Mm, leading tarot. For those who are uncertain as to what the future holds for them. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, and you're gonna die. So I'm just gonna leave you to it. Now, back to my dilemma. Yo. I'm sorry, you can't go in there. Do we not have a conversation? Bro. Like, what the fuck is going on here? You send me down here to talk to your boy? Pissing me off, man. Pissing me off, man. Alright, one more game. We're gonna go back downstairs and be like, yo, what the fuck's going on, bro? You told me to come up here. Tell your boy to slide over. He ain't sliding over. Look at that face. Look at that face. Only a mother could love a face like that. Alright, let's do a little venture jog. We're not running, we're just jogging casually. We don't run. Alright, now where that motherfucker go? Alright, let's not be seen together. It appears that Richard is making progress on his stabilized blood, but he hasn't perfected it yet. Perhaps the Hartford Chantry will be able to help him. We're not the sort to twiddle our thumbs around here, but now... So where's your boy at? Like, he sent me upstairs. Unless I gotta go somewhere else that I just don't know. Yeah, where is Miss George? I'm trying to get into the crib. He told me not to come back here and talk to you, but god damn it, Kato. You shouldn't hang around here too long. Motherfucker. Tell your boy to move the fuck out my way then. Wait, wait, I got the password somewhere. I'm just gonna rough rough your shit. You cool with that? Cool, cool, cool. Just stand there and don't do shit. I take a second. Can we get this over with quickly? Hey, can you shut the fuck up right now? I'm trying to break into your shit. Damn. Or was it 0495? Ah! I'll break into your shit later. This is the first time we work together. I'm big on discipline. No problem. So I'm supposed to prick into her into her sweet, but your boy won't step aside. So tell your boy to step aside and we can get this over with. Alright, let's go to the reception hall. Let's see if there's somewhere else.
Let's go back and look in the face. Look in the face. Look in the face. Oh, look in the face. Okay. I mean, y'all tripping right now. I know I'm supposed to do right now. Should I talk do you to think you? it will take long? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh, who here? Who here? Oh, you just some dude I can eat. You ain't nobody. Any news here? Everyone is stressed out. I've never seen anything like it. They're all talking in hushed voices. They barely dare to look at each other. Huh. People and their moods. I'm not interested in that. Right? I saw them take one of Jason Moore's bodyguards below. To question him, I imagine. That could be of interest to you. Say, how are things with the girl? Excuse me. It's Zhu Feng, right? She's not a girl. Things going okay? Just yes, like us. Things are fine. Right. She seems worried. Don't worry about her. Do you think you'll embrace her soon? As soon as possible. Once the prince gives me permission. You met Fang at MIT, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not telling you that. I'd rather not talk about it. I understand. I'd better be going. See you. Yeah, why are you asking me so many questions about my future child? I don't like that. Hey, yo, what's up, yo? My blood is excellent. Cool. I like the sound of that. Your blood is excellent, huh? I'm not trying to feed right now. I just want some info, but uh, appreciate you though. So this is other way I couldn't go before, but in y'all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They just let me not go this way before for no reason. Got me jogging around the hallways and shit. You know I'm a venture that I don't like jogging. Oh, we go up the stairs. Okay, what's this way? More stairs. There's that hallway. There's a hallway. More stairs. All right, let's go up these stairs. Out tripping right now. This is where me and the prince was hanging out. Like, hey, how y'all doing? I've seen princes come and go. In the end, it always comes down to a struggle for power between the prince and their paladin. Hazel is strong, but will she last much longer? Damn. I don't know if I just told the truth, didn't he? A copy of a treatise on metal transfusion. Dijon gave it to Hazel when they first started working together. I'm going to talk to you in a second. I need to look around the room first. The First Inquisition. The first time our supremacy was challenged. All right, bitch. We're gonna talk. Galeb, I was wondering when I'd run into you. Victoria, what a surprise. I didn't know you had decided to walk among us. I'm always where you'd least expect me. Mm -hmm. It feels like I've been away for ages. Boston has changed so much. The only thing that hasn't changed is your steadfast presence at court. Is that a problem? You know it's not. I'm just surprised, that's all. There's a whole world outside this city, you know? Just got the 
reflection me. I've traveled enough. I've had my fill of adventure. I'm not interested in that anymore. You're so boring. Wow. The world has changed so much since you last ventured out, Galeb. Then again, it's almost reassuring to find you unchanged. Iverson is lucky she can count on your loyalty. You're a valuable resource, Galeb. Especially in times like these. I'm only doing my duty. <laughs> Ever the cheerful one. Wow. Does she hit a beckoning? So many elders are gone, and yet, here you are. How is it possible? Because I want to. That's all. I enjoy my existence. Why give it up? But you must also feel that force. The insistent calling. Night after night. Yes. But unlike so many others, I have a reason to resist. Don't <clears throat> you? I still have some ties that keep me here. I won't leave without having one more child. You're sure taking your time. I'm waiting for the prince's blessing. It shouldn't be long now. Fang will be embraced soon. Fang! Oh yes, I see. <clears throat> she seems charming, spirited even. You have a knack for finding true gems. I remember your sire, Jean-Baptiste Tavernier. If I'm not mistaken. You are correct. I didn't see him at court. I remember he was very popular back in the day. He still left with all the others. Oh. Oh, this bitch is trying to get into my head. I mean, I like he. Hmm. Roll the dice, roll the dice. I know the two of you were very close. His absence must have left quite the void. I have no energy to waste on regrets. Jean-Baptiste had no choice. No more than I do. That's all there is to say on the matter. <clears throat> of course. I'd expect nothing less from you. Bitch, trying to get in my head again, I'll kill you. Did you talk to Fang? You seem to have met Fang. We had the chance to talk last night. She was pacing the floor while you were gone. I told her to keep quiet. And she did. She's a smart young woman of great consequence. Uh -huh. You shouldn't treat her like a child. Uh -huh. She's still young and naive. This is the first time she's come with me to court. Really? Well, she's doing very well for a beginner. You should be proud of your apprentice, Caleb. She knows how to behave. I've known children who were less well-mannered. Mm. Your own. I embraced some pretty strong personalities. I know how hard it is to let go. I'm not overprotective of her, if that's what you mean. Uh, that's not the impression you give off. I hope you're able to find a balance, or you'll both suffer. I should murder you. I hadn't heard you were coming to Boston. Indeed. I wouldn't be stuck in this tower if I hadn't gotten wind of your arrangement with Hartford. Well, isn't that a shame? It's not been a complete waste. I met your prince, and I got to see a few old friends. I just hope it's not at the cost of my unlife. Were you at the party? You don't seem to be hurt. I take it you weren't at the party last night. Heavens no. I was in your prince's personal suite. We hadn't even left yet when the code red was initiated. Good timing. Good timing indeed. When I think that the second inquisition's butchers were lying in wait, I'd shiver. If I could. My obligations to Hazel kept me away from the court last night. Did I miss anything important? No, nothing much. Really? I ran into Burrell. He was with your charming little protege. Mm. I don't like the sound of that. Did you hear their conversation? That would have been very impolite of me. 
Fuck. Change the subject. Good evening. Goodbye, Caleb. Damn it. Do I, do I have anything to give myself more willpower? Nope. Oh, that was an enlightening conversation. We're out down willpower. Oh, okay. Fuck up I'm the sorry, you can't go in there. Why not? I said I can. Move the fuck out the way. I'm a vampire. You're cool. Move the fuck out the way. Move the fuck out the way. Move the fuck out the way. Oh, I can touch the door. See? 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 Shit. Alright. <sighs> Let's go see the friends and get my ass kicked. So, so I seem to be not able to do anything else right now. To go see Barrel, but I don't want to do that. Might ha not have a choice. Make a choice. I'm trying to make a choice. Oh, maybe you have to be presented with a choice. Eh, fuck it. I'm gonna go to the Prince's office. I think you probably gotta be presented with the choice to make one. That kind of makes sense. Right, let's go see the prince talk shit. Oh, oh, can't get in. The prince will see you shortly. I'll send someone for you. Motherfuckers, these ghouls be talking like they fucking vampires up in this bitch. You ain't keep her Elysium. Talk to me like that again. I'll kill you. All right, let's go see my fucking son with no willpower. He's gonna eat me alive. Ah. Thanks, Victoria Ash. Wait, y'all still got me jogging? Hold on. Bench you walk. Locked from the inside. That's usually how locks work. Mr. Bazori, your child left a few minutes ago. Hmm. He did, did he? Well, I'll just go through his shit then. Okay. By all means, make yourself right at home. You said he left. Liar. I, I will make myself right at home. I made you. I brought you into this world and I can take you out. Beryl, always ready to jump at the slightest opportunity. Feng used this glass, so she's been here. I don't like the sound of that. I mean, damn, dude, you are kind of a little protective. Feng held this magazine. Strange. Hmm. Feng is in her rightful place on the cover of this type of magazine. There's a reason I chose her. How much 
much blood. I'm gonna use some dumb shit. Bow used to this glass. He only drinks with mortals. It sets them at ease. Yeah, that was wasted blood for no reason. You here? How extraordinarily rare. To what do I owe the honor? Enough, Beryl. Did you speak with Feng? I'm not one to keep an eye on the comings and goings of your retainers. Did you speak to her? So much fuss about nothing. Hmm. I could threaten him. You know very well what she is to me, and what she'll be soon. If the prince authorizes it, uh, it's only a matter of time. I sincerely hope so. I ran into her recently, it's true, but we hardly said a word to one another. Fuck Malusa's confrontation. Stop it right now. I know you saw Fang right here. I already told you not to speak to her again. Come again? Don't try to deny it. You spoke to her. Fine. She came here. I don't see what the problem is. What exactly is driving you? Unlike you, I don't try to control the lives of those around me. Feng still enjoys a certain degree of freedom, doesn't she? To choose whom she sees? We ran into each other by accident, and we didn't speak for long. Lies. God damn it. He's too strong. I spoke with her. She told me that you summoned her. Summoned? <laughs> Please be serious. I don't summon people. No, that's not your style. I did ask her to stop by. There was no obligation. None whatsoever. Hmm. And I don't think she regretted our meeting at all. I really don't see the harm in it. It's not your business to understand. I'd really like to, though. I just wanted to give her some advice. To help guide her through this brave, dangerous new world. Asshole. When it comes to that, I don't think you're doing enough. Am I mistaken? Let me worry about her. She doesn't need his advice. Hmm. You needn't worry. She's been introduced to everyone. I don't intend to leave her defenseless among the drooling predators skulking in the corners. And she might just surprise you. I'm sure she will. She's worth far more than your estimations. Is she worth more than me? Ooh. Are you sure you want an answer to that? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> took you for the father. But I guess anyone at any age is vulnerable to the winds of change. Your concern for Fang is to your credit. It really is. However, I can't help making comparisons with my own past experiences. Hmm. You shouldn't. It was long ago, I admit. But I'm still your only child. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. Although I do regret the unfortunate turn our relationship has taken. Damn it. I gotta um, I gotta win this one. I'm worried about Fang, honestly. You would worry too if you were in my shoes. I just want to make sure she doesn't go through the same thing I did. The crushing weight of disappointment. The distance. The disdain. I'm sorry. I made a mistake with you. Mistake? What, pray tell, did you ever do to make things go awry? You dropped me in a hornet's nest and left me to dodge the stings. 
I've been nothing but alone from the very start. I... You gave up, Caleb. And did you ever once consider fixing your mistake? By That's killing you? That's why I'm doing things differently with Fang. I don't want to make the same mistake again. Ah, such eloquence. But it never ceases to surprise me. You've always wielded words with such deadly skill. But there is one small detail it seems you have forgotten. Oh? You won't be there for her much longer. Hmm. What? Think about it. You're the oldest person in this city now. It gnaws at you like it does all the elders. You can feel it inside you and it will grow and grow until you finally give in. How long do you think it will be before you leave too? Hmm. If I say I don't want to talk about it. Will I win? Hmm. I think I'm going to fucking lose. I'd weigh your words. One might think you actually want me gone. Far be it for me to want that. Yet you seem so eager to replace me, even purring up to Fang. That doesn't seem like a very loyal attitude to have. I won't let you question my loyalty. Then do something to prove it. Then we'll talk. Actually, if I understand you right, and I think I do, we're of the same mind. With a few minor differences is that so we both want what's best for fang so then why can't i see her because you're an asshole because i'm his sire and i've got the patience to ask I shouldn't have to explain myself. It's probably where I should go. But I'll go here. Let's see what happens. You are my progeny, my only child, and I'm here to ask you one very simple thing. Think of it as a favor if you want. But you don't see Damn it. I think I'd be doing you a disfavor. Fang needs to talk. And your only child is a precious resource, don't you think? I fucked up. I don't owe you an explanation. I don't ask you about what you do with your retainers. And I don't prevent them from coming to see you. Damn Why it. treat me any differently? For once, I was looking out for someone. I know you think I'm selfish, a manipulator. But things aren't always black or white. You of all people should know that. I'm worried for Fang. She needs someone because you can't be there for her all the time. I thought I had made myself clear. I don't want to hear about any more secret meetings between the two of you. Have no fear. I know what I must do. Watch yourself. I think we've said just about Fuck. all there is to say. Victoria Ash fucked me. One more thing. A little bird told me about your operations in South America. My dear sire, for someone I thought had no interest in business, you are remarkably well informed. Nothing can stay hidden from the court forever. Where's the harm in it? Your actions have consequences for the Camarilla that you haven't considered. You could endanger the masquerade. Don't you think you should speak to the prince about it? <laughs> I don't see how my personal business concerns her. She's already having enough trouble getting us out of this mess she's dragged us into. What an asshole. You her responsible for this? She's in charge, isn't she? She hosted the party. It's only natural to hold her accountable, isn't it? If the court were to hear what you just said. Ha! Huh. Do you really think I'm the only one who thinks this? You'd best be going. Oh! I wasn't planning on staying. Be sure of that. It's been a pleasure. Please excuse me if I don't see you out. Uh. 
Oh, I got to kill this motherfucker. He's unpredictable. I need to take more drastic measures if I want to stop him from causing trouble. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. Answer the summons. Ooh. Ooh, that boy got my blood boiling. Alright, let's stop it right here. Pick it back up with the prince.